Hello everybody, good evening, we are live. Welcome to Elizabeth Graph Designs. My name is David. Oh, hello everybody. I've got my sound on on my phone. There we go, now we're all sorted. Good evening everybody. Well, I know the sound is working now, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, good to see you all. Let me just click this away so I can actually see the comments. There we go, it's Wednesday um, and I'm going to be playing tonight. Let's have some fun. It's always fun. Hi Els. Hi Maina. Hi Sylvia. Hi Renee. Hi Anita. Yoka. Good evening everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hi Ans. Belinda's here. Renee. Well, um, I'm still cleaning up after the fair <laughs> from last weekend, uh, but I'm nearly done. I'm getting there. So it's still a bit messy here and there, but uh, yeah, yeah, I was distracted today doing some other fun bits. So yeah. Hi Marijke. Hi uh, Patricia. So um, yeah, it's going to be fun tonight, I think. Um, I'm just going to wait until we have a bit more people coming in. If you are bar here barking, that's Marley. I don't know why she's barking downstairs. Colin is at school, so we're here. Good to see you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi Kim, Leslie, Renata. Hello everybody. Hi Michelle. I'm going to go to Michelle in end of June, which is going to be fun. So if you want to have a class from me, uh, join me there in Florida. Um, going to be three classes, one half a day and two full day classes. So that's going to be fun, 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 fun. So I'm coming to the States. Um, but anyways, let's get started, shall we? Let's switch the cameras around. There we go. And here you see my beautiful ATC journal. Um, it's bulky, it's full, uh, so I need another one because I'm, I keep making more ATC cards and this one is really, really full. Uh, I've traded some over the weekend, not many because I didn't have time, but you've seen lives on nearly all of these, I think. Well, not nearly, I think every single one of them I did during a live or a video. This was what I traded. Cute, right? So. Uh, coins in there. It's just such a fun little booklet uh, uh, for ATCs to trade or just to flick through your, the ones you made. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you, uh, however, something else you can do with it because it's it's great for ATCs and I love it for that and I will keep using it for that. But there's something else you can do with it. I uh, will make a combination tonight. So that is that. I'm looking at the comments to uh, see if I'm uh, missing something. Um, yeah, this is, oh, it's on its way. Good, Belinda. Well, I did exchange some at the weekend. Not many, though, because I didn't have time. But uh, there were a couple of people that came up, sent me a message up front. Uh, so we did that. Um, so this is a fun little booklet. We're going to work on that. But I'm also going to decorate the uh, journal. And um, share some experiences with you. Because I've already embossed it. I'm not sure. To, yeah, there you go. You see this? I love that texture on there. This is a beautiful journal as is. The chocolate brown is gorgeous. And it's got some nice texture. But I've run it through an embossing folder. Now, if you don't know how to do that, uh, I've got a video up on my YouTube channel showing you exactly how to do this. Uh, I got a lot of questions. Um, about uh, can you show it going through the die cutting machine? I can't uh, because I'm using my switch for that and my switch is way over there um, so I can't I don't have a camera there simple as that. Um, another side note I have to make I got a lot of questions about that so I just wanted to address that. Um, you need an A4 size machine or a, a, a bigger machine like the Switch, like the Vagabond, like any of uh, the bigger ones. Uh, because the embossing folders from Tim Holtz, for instance, they don't fit through your machine like that. It's just a hair too wide. So yeah, if you want to do this technique, you need a big machine. Uh, I didn't know that at the time. Belinda pointed it out to me. Uh, so thanks for that, Belinda. Um, but yeah, uh, you need to switch for that. So this one, I've run through my switch. Uh, and again, if you want to see how I did that, it's on my channel. Um, but now I'm going to do something to it. Now, I don't 
normally prepare these things, like uh, test them out, because yeah, I, mixed media, you know, it, it takes you where it wants to take you, and you, you get what you get. But all of a sudden this afternoon, I thought, ah. I'd shave. I don't know. Um, all of a sudden I thought this afternoon, let me try something because I wanted to make sure that it was working. It's a good thing I did because it didn't work. I embossed the journal and then I got to work on it and th threw things, paste stuff on it and all the embossing disappeared. So it stays on there, but if you wet it with any kind of medium, it's gone. Makes sense in a way, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to um, uh, share that with you. Anyhow, now I have a lovely journal uh, to play in because it turned out fantastic. It's just not the technique I'm going to show you today. But look, how gorgeous is this? So that's what I wanted to show. I'm not gonna, uh, because the embossing is gone. So I wanted to work on that. So, um, let me get started on this one. So I've got all my Finna Bear waxes out. These are the tube waxes, love those. And I'm gonna, just gonna start to play. I just need to get my media mat out because I don't wanna ruin my background. I've already done that once. So let me just roll that out. The other way around, it makes more sense. There we go. There we go, put this one back on. So the journal closes like this, right? So this is the cover. So I'm gonna concentrate on that. The switch is an electric one, yes. So I did that with an electric machine. This is sepia, I don't have a clue. I just bought a whole bunch of new, new colors. So, and I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm just gonna use my fingers. So I'm not sure, this is quite a dark, color, so I'm not sure what this is going to do. Oh, this is going to be nice. I can already see it. So with this, I just go over that completely. Cover it all with that sepia, sepia color. And that just gives it a bit more of a grungy look. Could try that, but um, with this, no chance. This is way too textured to put through your boss embossing machine. It will not have an effect. So that's why I wanted to try it the other way around. Didn't work. So, but in this case, this works. So I'm just covering up the complete journal with that wax first. And I'm not bothered. It, it's gonna touch everything, which is good in, in this case and I will do the back as well. You see the difference? I'm not sure the camera is picking it up. This is matte and this gets a nice like waxy shine. Now these waxes need to dry a bit but I'll work around that. It is isn't it? It was a Spellbinders one I think. There we go. Just needed a tiny bit more. But by putting on that wax, you can already see it here in the spine, it just pulls out the texture a bit more because the light hits it more, you see? So that's already, that's the first step done. So let me, just clean this off a bit. I will do a thorough clean later, but... Okay, what else do I have? I want some... I'm gonna try this color, burgundy, because I love burgundy. So let's... See if we can get some accents in from that. This is more of a metallic one, I think. 
Oh, yes. So I'm just going to lightly go over that. And because the layers underneath are still not completely dry, it will blend a bit. It's quite forgiving because you can just polish it out. So I'm building up layers of this, these wax. This wax, these, that, those. <laughs> Speaking is hard at times. And because of the texture on this, it grabs it in different ways, you see? We're going to do more. Thank you, Judy. I'm attempting to let it grow even longer, but it's driving me crazy already, so. I know you've got to get through that. But yeah, I wanted something different. Yeah. But thanks for noticing. Um, I don't know. I would say give it a go. I haven't tried it. This is just alcohol. Pure alcohol. And that cleans off my mat nicely and my fingers hi Anmarit welcome hi Cora thank you the brand of the wax is Finnebear so this looks gorgeous now what I also noticed if you melt it so if you heat it a bit hi Annemika It, it's wax, so it melts. I'm not sure you can see it. But what it does, it sort of blends it together. So that's why I'm melting it a bit. You see the shine coming from melting and then it dulls down a bit. But then it blends in, you see? A bit more. Permanent when dry, yes. No, it doesn't. Just need to cool it, let it cool down a bit. It's cool, right? So now I want to build up some more layers. So I've got mahogany here. And I'm going to put that on my mat. Pick it up and go around the outside perimeters only. Mahogany is a bit darker. So I just want that at the outer perimeters of this journal. So it's, it's fun, it's like finger painting. The journals are sort of a fake leather. PU leather they call it, plastic, <laughs> I think. Um, but yeah. See, that's making that a bit darker all around. So, that's that.
Then I've got ash gray. And it's a bit of a bluish gray, but what it will do, it'll tone things down a bit where I want it. What do you mean, Femke? More embossed planners? Oh, you, I got you. Uh, I understand you now. Well, you can emboss it yourself. So, again, this adds another layer of darkness. You see that? Love that. I'm loving this. So then I've got two nice ATC journals, one for the ones that I received, one for the ones that I have to trade or want to keep. Don't know yet. So let me have a look. This is how it's going to fold. So yeah, I'm loving this. Um, now, I want to have... Am I going to risk that? Just let me... On the back, I'm going to... This is a different color. Um, oh no, it's a lot greener, you see? It's a lot greener than on the... on the tube. The tube's a bit of aqua blue. Could give a bit of a patina. Yes, it does. Oh, 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 oh. me like. So I'm just sort of in areas, brush that in. It gives it a bit of a patina look. I love patina look, so. This is not metallic, yes. It is, right? It's completely different. So now I've cleaned up my finger and I'm just going to rub that in a bit. So now it's almost like a, a, a coppery patina. Whew. See that? Hi, Cindy. So I'm just going to put the heat gun on top of that again, just to melt them together. And that really changes it again really makes it into one. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But it really sinks into the rest. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. I forgot to say that. But please do. 
is then you can win a $50 gift certificate. You always want that, right? Who doesn't want to win a $50 gift certificate? I tried it in my Spellbinders machine. These folders sideways won't fit through. It's, these are too wide. So that's why I was saying you need an A4 machine. I haven't tried it with the 2D yet, but I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, to be honest, with the, let me, let me show you. The square uh, size, you will probably, yeah. If you do the square like this, you won't have the whole journal embossed. You can run it through that way. So that is a, 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 how you can still do it with the square or with this one. Uh, it's just a passport that is an XL is not possible. Look at that. Okay, last thing I want to do, and then I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to take some gold wax. I just need to get this thingy out. I got away with it the last couple of times, but now I need to get this out. There we go. And I'm going to take a tiny little brush. No, when it's done, it's done. Hi, Daria. Well, better late than never, right? Just going to try this with a very light brush, a very light touch. I mean, I just want to touch the higher, the raised areas. Bring out that embossed pattern again. Artist trading coins or artist trading cards? Either would do. I'm happy I tried that sage because that really gave it that rusted patina look. This is a very cheap brush, stippling brush. You can do it with your fingers, but I, with the finger I can't have a light touch. I always go in too hard. With the brush I can for some reason. So uh, let me look at the comments. I'm all good, Lois. Thank you. There we go. Just gonna go over here. Okay, now I'm gonna put this to the side. Clean up this messy hands. <laughs> but look, this is uh, how it's turned out. Isn't that gorgeous? Yep. So this can go to the side. Let me just clean my finger. It's 
stamp on it. Well, you, we did that before, didn't we? Stamp on the journals, Anita. Um, on this, I would not stamp, but that's a personal preference. But I love how this one turned out. So let me clean up my mess. There we go. Put this to the side. There we go. So now um, we've got a new journal. Now we need to make something that fits in there. So what I've got, um, I was thinking, this is the, the height of the square TN, the square art journal, I should say. Um, I would use archival, Anita. This is the size of a square art journal. Uh, it's just not the same width. So I, I dug in and I took out my, uh, I forgot the name again. This set, it's called Timeless Rounded Corner 2034. Um, and that is the, the, the page die that comes in there, um, but it's too wide. If I would fold this in half, it would be bigger than my sleeves. See? So I measured the sleeves, and now I know if I, and I'm really sorry, I don't have the inches. Ooh. Let me see if I can figure that out quickly. No, I don't have my inch ruler here, do I? Because I'm going to score at 16 and a half centimeters on this side. And if I take the inches, that would be at hmm, seven, no, not seven. Wait, let me fold it first. So I made a score line at 16 and a half centimeters. Which is, say, six and a half inch. So if you make a score line at six and a half inch, it is exactly the same width as your sleeves. The sleeves for your ATC. So then, you fold that in half, like that. And then what I want to do, because I don't, this is rounded corners, this is rounded corners, so I want these corners to be rounded. So I've got my crocodile uh, corner rounder here, and then this is the quarter inch. I will just trim that off, like that. So, now I've got my page. Now what I'm going to do with this, make sure that's flat, and I'm going to put glue right here and right there, and turn that into a pocket. And this way, <coughs> I've already prepared one here, you can build up a complete journal, just the way we do our, own, our other art journals, in your uh, small ATC journal, which is a fun, it's a fun, fun little size. So, uh, I've got more, so let me repeat that, because I want a couple of them. So, but I'll, I'll go quicker this time. So, I want the score to be on this side, f uh, the flap. So, 16 and a half, score, fold, and cut the corners. So, this die, this page die from that rounded corner set, and I know many of you have it, uh, is perfect to create pages in your artist trading coin 
or card booklet. Hi Jacqueline. So let's do another one. I'm just gonna and I'm altering the side where the pocket is gonna be. So one pocket is on the, this side, the other one is on the other side. And then I'm going to make a combination. So I'm not going to do all of them now. How come this is... My sound is off and still the emails come through. Sorry about that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take three of the ATC sleeves. Hi Sandra. Hi Doris. Uh, I'm going to take three of the sleeves. Make sure they're all the same way up. Yep, I like that. Then I'm going to take one of the pages that I made with the, in this case, it's got the uh, pocket on the left side. Put these in. Then I'm gonna take a, the other one we made with the pocket on the right side. And this is a signature that I'm gonna put into my journal. So that means I've got a nice combination of sleeves and pages throughout the journal. How fun is that, right? So let me just decorate this one. I've got my little uh, pockets here. These come from the artist trading coin set that we just released, which was in my... No, not necessarily, because this is the way you can do it. So you can alter your existing dice. Uh, in a simple, very simple way. So the answer is no to that. With just one simple score line. There we go. So I'm gonna put my pocket on in here, on here, I should say. Absolutely else. It would make, make a great memory journal like this as well. And then you've got a journal spot to write and you can combine it with pictures and all sorts of fun things. Now, let me get the right stencils out. I nearly, I nearly gave you guys a sneak, which is not intended and I'm not gonna. Nearly went wrong. Uh, let me see. I just want this one. What I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to place that on here, get a brownish brush. Where did they go? Oh, here. I changed my setting around here. I'm just going to give this some splatter using um, my new favorite color, Scorched Timber. Ooh, I love that. Look at that. How fun is that? Doesn't need much more. Um, so what am I gonna do next? Um, I'm going to make a coin. Now, this was fun. Um, an ADC coin is two and a half inch. Um, how do you call that in English? Door Um I've got all sorts of... I'm missing one. Where did my coin go? That's weird. Anyhow. Oh, here it is. Yeah, no, I've got it now. Um, da, 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 da. This one. This is in the ATC uh, Artist Trading Coin set that we've just got out now. Um, but what is really fun, this little die that is in the uh, rounded corner page set, beautiful little doily. Um, I've cut this out of the Tim Holtz 
uh, paper that you can sand, you know, the craft core. Look, look at that. It is a hundred percent perfect fit. Isn't that funny? Love that. So anyhow, what I did up front, I've sanded it. Um, let me, I can do it. I can do that. I will just send this a bit. Let me. Um, got too much stuff on top of it now. There we go. Got it. That stencil is in the. Uh, Journal stencils four set, I think. Is it four or three? I've lost count. So this is how you send it. And then with your ink, you just um, go over it. And where it has taken off the color, it will get a different color. That's how I achieved this. So let me just that's how you get this. Fun, right? Scorched timber is a gorgeous color. I'm really, yeah. So now I'm taking freight burlap and I'm edging all my elements. You see that splatter is coming back. Love that. Hey, Marga. Are you ready for Saturday, Marga? Marga and I are together Saturday doing... Uh, Marga is going to do a demo and I'm going to do a make and take, which is rare. So if you want to do a make and take with me, you got to come Saturday. Because I normally don't do make and takes. Because I'm too lazy. But Marga did it last time we were there, so I said, okay, I'll do a make and take, you can do the demo. Fair is fair, right? So, put some glue on. This doily is so much fun and it's, it is in that page set. So if you don't have that yet and you want to do this, you have the journal, maybe that is a good idea uh, to look into buying that set so you can do this as well. Fly over, Blinda. The coin set is so much fun to work with, not just for artist trading coins. If you look at the samples from the design team, uh, the, I think everyone has used it just in their journal as fun elements. And There's something about circles in your art journal that makes it yeah, fun. So now I'm going to put this one on the back, or on the coin on the matte layer, I should say. Look at how much fun that little doily is. It's a perfect fit on that. Matte layer there. It's fun on cards too, yeah. Well, by pitching, I think you'll be on time. And then I'm gonna do it on this. Now, paper I'm using for the pages is from the um, abandoned paper pack. Um, these are ATC coins that I had laying around, and these are from the grungy wood. And it just goes to show, because this is abandoned paper as well, all my papers mix and match beautifully. Now, this matte layer gives a tiny little border, border uh, around the edge. I love that. I love the... The tiny little borders, uh, just one eighth of an inch or even less, um, because it just gives it depth. There we go. Then I've got the stamp ready to go. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. Circles work everywhere. Planner, cards, art journal. It's 
Yeah, the ATC set is a really fun artist trading coin set. She did. Heather did a great job on that. Well, they're a bit small for coasters, Femke. Exactly so much you can do with it. There we have it. So, but I'm loving this. I'm loving that doily on there, and it's just, yeah. Um, I just had my phrases. Here they are. Here is journal phrases three. I've stamped them out in all sorts of colors. That's a bit bright. That's a bit bright. What's this? What are you in there? I don't know. Mm. It is what it is. I think uh, that's suitable for what we I had earlier. So I'm just cutting that out using my little Elizabeth Craft Design scissors because they fit in between there perfectly. So I'm not going to look at the comments while I'm cutting, guys. Sorry. That would be a disaster waiting to happen. Now, I just want to get rid of the white core of the paper. So, this is a doily from, um, I forgot the name again, Timeless Rounded Corner Set. It's in there together with a butterfly thingy. Ooh, I have an idea. I don't know whether it's going to work, yes or no, but let me try. You see, I'm just going to put that in the center of that doily. Done. Perfect width, by the way. And this fits in here. Let that paint uh, glue dry, David. But this fits in here perfectly. So you can have more ATC stuff in there. So let me just try one thing. Because in there is this butterfly. I just got a brainwave, sorry. Will that? No. It's just a tiny bit too high. Yeah. Okay. But you can cut it out of your page or whatever. So, gonna make another pocket here. Here we already have a pocket. Close your glue, David. Close your glue. Hey, Rihanna. You were live as well, I saw. Rihanna is also new to the design team. This is distracting me. There we go. So, glue that down. Get a stencil out again. Now let's try another one. Oh, I like the numbers one. So, as you can tell, because it's nice and dirty. <laughs> Thanks, Sylvia.
I love that. Do the same on this side. Oh, look, instant page done. Instant page done. So what I'm going to do, I've got an ADC card here, the base. I'm going to edge that. And in my stash, I've got a lot of matte layers that are already inked and colored because of the classes I did and showing how I how to do that. So I'm going to use them up. It's this one and this one. Love this one. I splattered water on there. So let's do that one. This is uh, from the torn set. So the card and the matte layers are in the torn set. Uh, also perfect set for your journal because it's got a nice page in there um, but the ATC cards are really fun as well and you can use these elements all in your journal as well so that one's gonna go on there that on. This was fun to make. Thanks D. And on the back I need my ADC stamp. This is from the ADC special kit. For the people that want to know. There we go. Then I've got this gorgeous butterfly and I thought to just leave that white for a change. Look how gorgeous that is. It really pops off there. So I'm going to do that. I am going to stick it down completely. Normally I don't do that, but because it's an ATC and we're going to pull it in and out of pockets. Hi, Fenna. There we go. You see how that white pops off there now? Welcome, Verna. So that's that. And then I've got, well, I've got loads of phrases here, so I shouldn't be too picky. <laughs> Enjoy the process. Let's do that. So, Els made these, and I got them from her. I can't do this. This is way too fiddly for me, but thank you, Els. Love it. And it's not rusting, so that's cool. So I'm thinking about Els every time I use that now. Even more. <laughs> I'm even thinking of you more now, Els. Oh, this is too wide. Bloody. Use your brain, David. You got it. 
sometimes I'm just a nitwit. Okay, I'm going to go for the best. Because else is the best, right? Else is the best. Did you? Ah, oh, that's nice, Celesta. It's sweet of you to say. There we go. Put that one on. Fun little ATC, right? So, that one fits that sleeve we made. Ta-da! Look at that. So, coin there. But, to be honest, it also fits in here. But, I like it here. Because then you see the wing of the butterfly pop out. Cool, right? So, quickly, do one last coin. I have to hurry. Um... I know you guys say you don't have to hurry, but I've got other things to do, so. It's a perfect fit, Dorothy. Yes, it is. So this is a coin cut out of the paper from um, the Grungy Wood. Still love that grunge, Grungy Wood paper pack. These are some gears that are from um, the Get Into Gear set. And that is a uh, cut out of the same paper that I've cut that doily out. So I'm just going to lightly sand that to expose that core to give it more of an industrial look. Got to be careful though, this is thin and delicate, so... I'm ready for Saturday, yeah. 70 bags filled. Unless I change my mind again and think of something else and then I gotta alter them all. But the good thing is I don't have time to change my head, so to change my mind, I mean. Uh, also not to change my head. Are you ready, Marga? Looking forward to seeing you again. It's gonna be fun. Right, put that to the side. And then with my Fred Burlap, it gives it sort of a rusty, rusty patina look, which is nice. Matches the journal that we just made, which I will show you in a second, because we need to do one more thing. That's why I'm rushing a bit. So, there we go. Let me just glue this one down. It's going to be a great day. Now this um, gear fits on the ATC coin perfectly again. You see, match made in heaven. And I just love that. The fact that the, we can mix and match with all the collections as well. Um, and then we can turn that into a nice page for the new art, artist trading journal. Right, this one is gonna go on there. And I'm, in a way, I'm always playing with the new stuff because, well, uh, like now I'm making packaging for a new release. Um, and then the release comes out, so I, I'm playing with it then. So it's really fun to go back and revisit all the stuff as well. There we go. I like that. Slightly offset. Everything is better with gears, right? I love gears as well. So, now I want something in the middle of that. Let me get my big thingy out.
these are the Tim Holtz uh, ones. And I need to have a die pick. I've got that somewhere. Just to punch a hole in there. Hi, Susanna. Well, you can always watch back. If you haven't done so yet, join our YouTube channel because then you don't miss out on anything. I turn on the notifications and you will be notified when you have a new video on. Because all our videos are shared on YouTube as well. So, look, I'm going to put that through here. And then I've got this handy tool that someone gifted me with a die pick. Didn't know that. Just let me. And then I can just push this out like that without hurting my nails. Look how cute that is. And then we're going to cover this up with my ATC. There we go. Put that there and then that whole thing is covered. Just need a saying. Just need a saying. What did I do on here? Can't remember now. It is what it is. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make me think of Mariah Carey. Tum 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 tum. There we go. I will edge this one a bit. Just because I love it. There we go. Yeah, I got that too, but then I saw these and I thought, ooh. There we go. And that one is going to go into the pocket we made here. So in that way, you can just completely build up your whole journal and combining that, because I will show you the combination. Just let me get some out of my other journal, which is covered now. Oh, there it is. Look, this is how far we got with the journal. Now, what we need to do, and I use, I mean, like, I like to take uh, just a lint-free cloth, like a microfiber. This is a clean one, and I will polish this. And then you see the magic happen. You see this? This is still a bit duller, but here you see, really see the layers coming through. So I'll just do that. And the embossing stays, just with, uh, even though with, you buff it. So there we go. this one back through which is also not that hard there we go right now what I said right I, I will take three of the sleeves and then put one here And then put another one. Where's the other finished one? I don't want, I don't care, this one. In the middle. So you've got a nice combination of 
the three or of the paper pages and the sleeves. And look how fun that is in your little journal. You see? So yeah, you can make a nice holiday album out of this. And look at that. Gorgeous journal we made. So that was it for today, guys. We made a journal and yeah, a really fun, fun way to combine paper pages with your A to C sleeves this way. So yeah, I really thoroughly enjoyed this. It was fun. And I made some fun A to C's while we were at it. So cool. Let me switch the cameras around. I made it on time. Well, one minute over. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Uh, I had a blast. Um, I don't know who's here Friday. I do know who's here Friday. Is it Heather? I think it was. Um, so looking forward to that and I will see you all soon. Tomorrow I'm live on my own YouTube channel. If you don't have enough yet of me, join me there. It's going to be fun and I will see you all soon. Thank you and see you the next time. Bye.